I will be briefly explaining first the research that I have conducted and that this presentation is based on and then I will be uh, presenting a general overview about the history of education in Islam that uh, is said to be that actually uh, the already uh, available uh, literature will be presented. Also, uh, it's, it's uh, demonstrating how early scholars approach towards, in fact, restructuring teaching and learning environments. So this is the core of my uh, research. In fact, uh, I wanted to see uh, as early as I can go and uh, at a time where uh, the scholars themselves uh, how they seem they have seen the process of education in Islam and how uh, if at all they made some suggestions uh, some corrections because understandably as the first command first instruction or in Islam is uh, Iqra, read read and learn so how this uh, would be portrayed we will uh, go on and, and 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 see that so that 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 will be uh, quite uh, exciting on that and also i'll be uh, following suggesting some um, that education was in fact a centuries long uh, process this is to say that this process uh, did not like start day one as um, as been um, i don't know maybe uh, uh, foreseen but it is actually a long process until uh, education or rather basic learning had been uh, structured and that led later into institutionalization of the uh, uh, teaching and learning process. So uh, that's why uh, it, it, it is very important to um, uh, and, and say it here. And obviously, uh, uh, the presentation uh, will go on uh, having some uh, concluding remarks as well. Here, I would like to continue. This is a, <clears throat> a personal research project that I have taken since I am at Ibn Khaldun University in Istanbul. It's uh, uh, quite one of the new uh, universities, but very much uh, research-oriented. So, I had... Uh, full support of the university in doing so. And then um, the aim is, uh, in this project was to examine how education was perceived in early Islam and how it was structured. Um, I mean, based on Islam, in fact, um, uh, very much promoted uh, learning and, and, and in fact, even uh, put it as an obligation to teach to others. So this way, uh, it is already uh, has been promoted, emphasized, and so but we will be seeing how it has been, uh, what, what was the procedure, what are the stages, what are the layers, uh, the, the whole process went through it, it, and had been structured. Although this is all uh, my own work, uh, I designed it, but uh, several friends, students, colleagues from across the world, in fact, generously helped, especially in reaching original uh, manuscripts. This is to say that, as we will see, Ibn Khaldun's original manuscript, I was able to get a copy from uh, Tunisia. But also, after a long search, uh, I managed to reach uh, other manuscripts as well. And this is a qualitative study based on what appears to be unstructured information available. <clears throat> so that's where the uh, 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 this uh, research has its, in fact, a core. So it wasn't like very much structured and written about. So here and there you find the information, but putting them together was a challenging um, tax, task. Here, uh, first of all, probably the main and major question here uh, when the education begins for children, or rather, if you put it in other words, uh, when education should begin for children. Uh, this very much focuses on learning the basics uh, and essentials of Islam, 
but where possible to learn about the uh, the whole uh, uh, Quran and, and, and also reading and writing obviously uh, involved in it. Uh, the, uh, one of the earliest uh, examples uh, is uh, comes from El Ghazali, who uh, you know lived uh, around 400 to 500 years uh, after Hijra, and he explains in his uh, great work here, here Lumidin, the revival of uh, religious sciences that. Uh, when six years old, the child was held responsible for the ritual prayer. It was then that his formal education began. In fact, it is self-explanatory. This is to say that first the child learns uh, essential practices of uh, Islam and praying, and then his ed formal education here means basically formally his learning uh, recognizing the letters, Arabic uh, 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 readings. Um, so that's how it begins. So as early as uh, six-year-old when the child is. 